hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is ayotola the creative director also unique by adeni and the content creator of this channel diy with so unique by adeni and in a second i'm going to tell you guys what this channel is about so if you're new here and you're just seeing my face i just wanted to quickly introduce myself to you guys to all my ogs to all the amazing subscribers that i have welcome back welcome back i have been away from your screens for so long actually way too long and i'll first like to start by apologizing i am so sorry guys i've been trying to settle in and now i feel like i am settled and i am back on your screen so if you're not ready this is the right time to fasten your seatbelt because it's going to be a jolly ride and we're going to be having videos back to back to back to back thank you to all of you who reached out to me to check up on me thank you to all of you who left amazing messages i miss you guys so much you guys have absolutely no idea who knew i mean anyway to be fair you guys are family so i knew thank you guys so much for holding down the fort thank you guys so much for keeping it real thank you for showing me love even when i was away you guys kept watching my videos you kept sharing and i appreciate every single one of you so to all people who are new here, this channel is a DIY channel, as the name implies, DIY with sewing so about me. However, I do focus on a lot of sewing tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely consider subscribing. And all you need to do is hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, as well as the notification bell, so you don't miss out on the awesome content that I have for you. It's absolutely free of charge to subscribe. So if you haven't already, now would be the perfect time to do that. And you want to make sure that you share my videos, follow me on social medias. I'll put my handle right here on the screen. So make sure you follow me, share my videos, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up because I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to combine a dart. So if you've watched my pre previous pattern drafting videos, I have a video on how to make a basic skip block and I have another video on how to make a basic bodice block right here. So if you've watched these videos, you will know that these things are made individually. However, they are the building blocks to pattern making or dress making. So if you're going to make a dress, a dress is a combination of a basic block as well as a skirt block. If you're going to make a skirt, you want to use your skirt block. If you're going to make a blouse, you want to use your bodice. And basically what you do, if I may say basic block, I meant bodice guys. <laughs> so what you do is you combine your bodice to your skirt to make a dress so if you're going to make a dress is a combination of your bodice block and your skirt block however the problem is because they're made individually the darts don't meet the darts never actually align and you want the darts to align right you don't want to have a dress where your bodice dart is to the left and wobbly and then your skirt dart is to the de a different direction it makes no sense so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that simple problem okay we're going to be learning how to combine the darts of a bodice and a skirt to make them align and then you can separate them if you want to or if you're making a dress that doesn't need separation you can continue to work with that so yes this is what it looks like i've gone ahead to film it for you guys i've got my skirt right here and if i can just find my bodice Oops, I can't find my body it's falling down but yeah <laughs> I've got it right here so I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video so obviously as you can tell it promises to be another fun and detailed tutorial I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share and don't forget to leave your comment suggestions and feedback in the comment section below if you're new here again I would love for you guys to subscribe this family is big enough to you know contain all of us and can I just say guys when I was away, we actually hit 25,000 subscribers. You guys are the most amazing people ever. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And now at the moment I checked and guys, we literally at 25,000 900 i think we hit 26 or 26,900. i'm just going to check and correct the figures but i will put it here i'm grateful whatever the number is you guys are amazing i cannot believe that not one not two not three not ten not hundred twenty five thousand and more of you guys think i'm amazing i think i'm worth it it's a subscription wow that's a fatty kind thank you guys so much for being amazing enjoy the video and i will catch up with you next week 
all right guys so you want to start off by making your basic bodice and if you don't know how to make a basic bodice you are in absolute luck because i've got a video showing you how to make a basic bodice so it's a detailed tutorial that i have i'll put a link in the icons above as well as in the description bar below if you don't know how to make your basic bodice definitely check that out it's a step-by-step -step guide that i created very detailed and it will help you through after making your basic bodice, you want to go ahead and make your basic skirt block as well. And for that, I also have a detailed tutorial that I've linked in the icons above as well as in the description bar below. So please check out both videos, watch it and make sure you take your time with it. It's one of those videos where you have to be patient, you have to watch it patiently and you will definitely grab what I am teaching you guys. So please check it out if you haven't already. After drafting your basic skirt block, you want to go ahead and turn it into a pencil or a pegged skirt. That's because the basic skirt block is a straight skirt. So the first thing you want to do is you want to locate the center vertical line, which is the side seam line. And you want to go ahead and mark two and a half centimeters to the left of that line and two and a half centimeters to the right of that line, just like I am doing right now. Afterwards, you want to locate the center back line, which is another vertical line, and then you want to mark two and a half centimeter inwards as well. Next, you want to reach for your very firm curve ruler, and you're going to need that to do the shaping or to make your straight skirt a pegged skirt. Start off by aligning the very firm curve ruler so that the curved part is just above the hip line level, which is that line that you have across the horizontal line. When you're happy with the position of the very firm curve ruler so that it's straight against the side seam line for about an inch, go ahead and draw a curve following the shape of the ruler. Afterwards, flip it to the opposite side so that you can draw a corresponding shape or the corresponding curve on the opposite side. Next, go ahead and position the very firm curve ruler so that it touches the 2.5 cm point at the bottom and flows back into the curve at the top just like what I have done. So it touches the 2.5 cm point at the bottom and flows back into the curve. So I'm going to repeat this whole process just one more time so that you guys can see it. So at the center back, I'm repeating the whole process. Now it's important to note that you don't do this at the center front because Obviously, there's no need to do it at the center front since it's cut on fold most of the time. This is what gives your skirt the shaped effect or the pegged effect that you always see on pencil skirts. After finishing the pencil skirt, you want to go ahead and cut it as you would any normal pattern that you just drafted. So go ahead and cut out all the excess that you don't need. And then after doing that, you want to make sure that you cut the bodice out as well. Alright guys, so we're moving on to the business for today, which is how to align the dart on your basic bodies to the dart on your skirt block. So basically, you'll need the following items. You'll need your paper tape or masking tape. You need a pen or pencil. You need a pair of scissors. You need a French curve and some scrap piece of paper. You might not need the scrap piece of paper, but you might need it as well. So it's always better to have it handy. So the very first step is to join the basic bodice to the skirt block. So if you're like me, I'm being very miserly. I've cut up my paper tape into small pieces so that I can manage it and also so that it's not just clumsy. However, the important thing is that you want to start joining from the center front if you are joining the front or from the center back if you are joining the back. And that's because that part is straight so you need to keep it straight. So you want to go ahead and join it all the way from the center front towards the side seam or from the center back towards the side seam. After joining, you'll notice for this one that it kind of meets at the side seam, so it's perfect. However, it's important to mention that it's not always the case. So with some people, you find that the skirt part extends or the bodice part extends. If this is the case in your situation, don't be worried, don't panic. It's absolutely normal. That's where the piece of paper comes in handy. However, unfortunately, when I was filming this, I found out that it was just perfect and there was no need for me to make any adjustments or add any piece of paper. Paper. hopefully the next one I'll do would be imperfect and I can show you guys so yes the next thing to do is to draw out your proper line so the line where the bodies and the skirt meets you want to trace it out with a visible color of pen or a visible marker which is what I've just done in red 
all right guys so i'm about to deliver a meaning lecture however be rest assured that it's very important and very fundamental to understanding what i'm about to teach you guys today so the human body can be divided into three planes however for the purpose of you know sewing we are only concerning ourselves with two planes really actually we concern ourselves with all three planes however for the purpose of this video you only need to worry about two planes and the planes are called the frontal plane which divides the body into the front and the back part of the body as well as the sagittal i hope i'm pronouncing it right the sagittal plane which divides the body into the left and right sides that means that we can say that the human body can be divided into a quarter so into four parts so we have one quarter which will be the if we're starting from the back which will be the back left side and then the next one will be the right back side and then the next one will be the front left side and then we have the front right side i hope i haven't confused you guys yet now if you understand what i have just explained then you'll understand that at the moment what we have on the table is just a quarter of someone's body it's just a quarter of someone's body now this person's waist measurement is 77 centimeters so the waist circumference the entire thing is 77 centimeters so the next thing you want to do is you want to find x and x is that line that we have on the on the pattern piece so the line where the body spits the a skirt is called our x so the next thing you want to do is you want to measure that line and write out whatever you have there for me i measured 22.8 centimeters now because we've already established that what we have on the table is supposed to be a quarter of the waist measurement what we're going to do is we're going to find a quarter of the waist measurement which is 77 divided by 4 and that would give us 19.25 centimeters that means ideally what we should have around the waist should be 19.25 centimeters however you know that what we have is 22.8 centimeters so the formula to find the dart intake or what you take out for the dart will be to find the x which is what you measured minus a quarter of the waist so x in this case is what you measured which is 22.8 minus a quarter of the waist and a quarter of the waist is 19.3 approximately by the time you do the calculation of the maths that would give you 3.5 centimeters that will mean that the total dart intake is 3.5 centimeters now that we know what our dart intake should be we're going to go ahead and nullify the previous dart because we're right now we have to make a new dart so that it aligns the next thing to do is to determine where your new dart position would be and the best thing to do is to stick with the dart position or the center line of the dart on the bodice because that's where the bust pan is and it just makes sense for it to be there so now if you know anything about that again you want to divide your total dart intake by two and then put one to the left side of the center line and the other one to the right side of the center line and in this case the total dart intake is three and a half centimeters so you want to divide that by two and then put half of that to the left side of the center line and another half to the right hand side of the center line and then go ahead and draw the bodice dart in place to draw the bottom dart you want to go ahead and square the line down so that it gets to the point where it got to before so basically the line was getting up onto the upper hip line so you want to square it down to that point and then just draw in your dart after drawing your new dart depending on your dress style you can go ahead and leave the bodice joint to the skirt and use it like that or you can separate it however for the style of dress that i'm doing i need to separate it so i've gone ahead to separate the darts or separate the bodies and skirt pieces but however now i know that my dart aligns so we're going to repeat the entire process for the back and the first thing you want to do is you want to join the back bodice to the back skirt piece starting at the center back it's very important that you start at the center back and you join and walk your way up onto the side seams now for this one is very interesting because this one at the sides is not perfect it doesn't meet perfectly now you remember that when i was doing the front it met perfectly however for this one there's just a little bit and this is where the paper comes in so you want to put a little bit of paper underneath and then you want to hold it with a masking tape you want to reach for your French curve and then you want to just blend it in so that the curve flows seam it flows seamlessly into where it doesn't meet. So for instance, in this case, it's the body that is just short. So we're gonna flow, we're gonna make sure that the curve flows seamlessly into the bodice, just very small, so nothing too drastic. 
after doing that you're going to cut off all the excess paper that you have and then you're going to go ahead and you know mark out the line where the bodice meets the skirt After marking out the new line where the bodice meets, meets the skirt, we're going to go ahead and repeat the entire process of calculating X, which is the new line that you've drawn, minus a quarter of the waist measurement. Ideally, if this is done correctly, you should get the exact same thing that you got for the front. However, in some cases, you might have slight differences. So you want to go ahead and measure your new line X and you should get the same thing that you got. And in my case, I got 22.8, which was the same thing that I have or I had rather. After you do that, you want to go ahead and do the formula X minus a quarter of the waist measurement and that should give you your excess dart intake. And just in case you missed the explanation that I did for how to, you know, measure your dart or how to put your dart in, for every dart you have a center line and then you want to go ahead and div divide the total dart intake by two. So in this case, I have a dart intake of three and a half. You want to look at the center line and I kept the line that I had on the bodice and then you want to do half of the total dart intake to the left and another half to the right. And that's 1.75 to the left and 1.75 to the right. Go ahead and draw your new dart now for the skirt part you want to go ahead and square the center line or the center line of the dart intake down and then you want to draw in your new dart just like that it's really simple you know guys very very easy isn't it so yes we've come to the very end of this video go ahead and separate your bodies and skirt if you want and if you want to leave it together just leave it together it doesn't really matter it's entirely up to you Alright guys, so we've come to the very end of this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was worth your while. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. Thank you and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.